Welcome along to Friday Forum Live, coming to you direct from Point Blank here in Hoxton, East London. My name's Luke Hopper and today I'm joined here in the studio by Maya, who's going to be uh, giving us a rundown on some DJ techniques using the Novation Dices. So Maya is an ex-DMC UK champ and as DJ XL he was a part of the Enforcers alongside Cutmaster Swift, Pogo and Business. Now he's had a, a pretty extensive career as a DJ so we're really looking forward to seeing him at work on the decks. Um, but just before that we've got to give a quick rundown of what's been going on this week at Point Blank. So first up we welcome Ski for the Ableton Live Push Challenge uh, that took place a couple of days ago um, in which Ski sat down and made a track from scratch using Ableton Live's Push in just 40 minutes. Uh, definitely worth checking out, head over to Point Blank Plus and the YouTube channel where you can see that in full. Also um, we welcomed um, the, the launch of a new series here at Point Blank, the Point Blank In The Mix series, uh, the first of which was a, a kind of laid back techno selection by our own uh, marketing assistant, Jonathan. And finally, the full range of, of Point Blank courses, all the online courses are set to get underway on April 29th. So head over to pointblankonline.net to check all of those out. And as always, keep locked to the Facebook and Point Blank Plus for everything that's going on uh, here at the school. So yeah, that's enough from me. Um, welcome along, Maya. Cheers, Luke. Nice one, mate. Nice, nice to, meet to have you, you down. Yeah, it's great to be down here. Um, can you give us a quick rundown of what you're going to be doing today? Um, so basically today I'm going to be using the Novation Dices. Um, what they are, they're basically MIDI controllers that you can um, trigger loops and, and breaks and beats in either from hardware or software. I'm using Serato Scratch Live today. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is just a brief um, breakdown of showing you uh, how to set them up, basically. Um, the modes, the each mode and then I'm going to give a little demonstration at the end to show um, utilizing all the, the different modes. And, um, well, we let's go. get into it. Let's, let's see okay. you go. Nice one. Thanks, Cheers. Maya. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Okay, so I could just say um, this is an innovation dicer. Um, it comes in this little, little case like this, perfect um, little case. Um, you get two dicers. Um, each one... Um, sorry, sorry, I've, I've left my track there. Um, you get the, your two dice in the case and you get USB leads. So what you need to do to set them up on your Technics, you basically, you've got your 45 adapter and you just take out your USB, um, your uh, Novation Dicer, you place that in and you remove it and it fits perfectly with a little disc inside. Now if you haven't got Technics 1210s or 1200s, the disc underneath removes and you can um, stick it down with a DJ Putty or Blue Tack. So basically it goes on the turntables, you can attach it to your mixer, to your laptop and to your CDJs. So, Depending on which um, uh, side you've got your, turn to your laptop, if it's on the left-hand side, basically you um, use this as your master controller. So I'll just show you how to set the, the cue points, first of all. So the first one I'm going to do is cue point mode. So basically you're going to set cue points on your beats. So what you do, you get a kick, and you just hit the cue point, and that registers the kick. And they're also registered in Serato. So what you're going to do then, once you've got the kick, I'm going to look for a snare to follow that. So I've got the snare, I hit the pad, and we've got, we've got the snare. And I'm going to follow through the track again, find something a bit more interesting. So we've got a little bit of a breakdown there. So hit the pad, and we've got the breakdown. I'm going to jump through again and find what we've got there is the beginning of the track, so I'm going to cue point that as well. And the final one, I'm going to jump through and try and find a little vocal stab, which I can use for the final cue point. So, Deep down. 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 perfect, I'm going to use that break, and there you go. So what you've got, you've got five cue points, and they've all registered in Serato. Um, I'm going to show you each one in turn. So the first one is a kick, second one is a snare. Then we've got a breakdown, the beginning of the track, and then also we've got a vocal sample. So with those five cue points, basically you can remix this track and edit this track on the fly. So what I'm going to show you first of all is some real basic drumming, um, and then utilize the other parts of the, the samples I've just uh, created in the loop. So here we go.
So that's just basic drumming with a kick and the snare. I'm going to um, bring in the other elements now. So we can, we've got the breakdown. And I'm going to go back, in, back into the beat. Down, down. Down, 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 down. down, down. You can use your EQ. Down, down. Down, 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 down. And as you can see, the pads here are touch sensitive. So if I touch them once, the register once, down, down, twice, down, 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 or as many times as you want, so you can get super creative with each part of it. So that's basically how to set your cue points in um, Novation Dicers. Um, if you don't want those cue points, you want to get rid of them, all you do, hold the key down, and you delete. And as they're deleting, they disappear from your Novation Dicer, and they disappear also from Serato. Now, if you're in the club and you want to do the same sort of thing on the fly, you have to be a little bit more accurate, otherwise uh, you're going to lose your, your place. But I'll show you on the fly. Same process. Hit the pad. Hit the pad again. So let's, let's see what we've got. So, so as you can hear, some of those are slightly off. Like I said, if you're in the bar or in the club, most people have had a few beers, so they won't really recognize or notice that anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. But if you don't like what you've done, literally just hold down the arrow key, one off, two, three, and each one disappears um, and also disappears from uh, Serato. So the next mode is a loop roll mode. Now, this is my favorite because you don't actually have to do very much and you look amazing using it. Um, basically, what you're doing, you're playing the track and it enables you to create mini loops as the track's playing, but it doesn't change the time of the record. So let me show you what I mean. So we've got a one bar. We've got a half, a quarter, eighth, and a sixteenth. So let's go back again. I'll show you again. So the track is continually playing. It's not losing its time. So you could mix these two records together and you can still um, create loops on the fly and it'll always jump back into the same spot. So what I normally do with these, um, when I've got two of the same, I load two tracks exactly the same, both on loop roll mode. And I'll show you what you can do now. Um, purely by just using two of the same tracks. Let me just get these set up for you. Sorry, it's my fault there. So we're going to start using the... As soon as I take my finger off the loop. So we're in a breakdown now. With this breakdown, you can use your EQs, just a few different effects, and start using each one of the different modes. Here we go. Basically, as you're going along and you're playing your track, you're creating mini loops on the fly, but it doesn't affect the speed or the timing of your record. So the final um, mode is loop mode. Now in Serato, you can set your own loops, um, but in um, Novation Dices, it makes it very easy. If you've got a, an MC that's there with you and you want to um, extend the beat for like an MC over the top, you can set some breaks and some beats. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So it starts on a, a, an eight bar. So I'm going to set an eight bar loop. And as soon as you hit the pad, you're already in Serato and you're looping eight bars. So you're in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you want to get rid of that loop, it's very easy. You can either kick the pad off or you can move on to the next one. So it's a four bar loop. So you're in four bars then and then two bars. 
and then into one bar. And you can use your EQs again. And if you want to come out of that, simple again, just release. So I'm going to jump into the track a little bit, create a loop, and then I'm going to mix this track with my cue points and show you how you can get creative using the same tracks. So I'm going to hit. So there's a four bar loop. And I'm just going to go into the track. So we're mixing in at the same time, and I'm going to use my cue points. And you're back in the mix again. So basically, just by setting your cue points and your, your loop rolls, you can go back and forth and get really creative on each of the, the modes. Now, all the modes are over now. I've, I've showed you what, what to do on those. I'm going to show you some little sets I've created um, that you can use using all those sort of modes I just showed you. So the first one is I'm going to set a loop on this right turntable. And all I've done is set cue points on a kick and a snare. And then on the left deck, I've got a sample with three cue points. And I'm going to do the same thing. We gotta do, we and gotta all do, it is we gotta do some vocal stabs. Now, if I was going to use this set, I'd have to go on to, after another DJ to get attention, draw attention to myself. I would uh, definitely use something like this. Instead of just mixing a track, people are going to pay attention and start watching you. So let's see what we can do. We gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta do a song that you never heard before. We gotta, we gotta do a song that you never heard. We gotta, we gotta do a song that you never heard. We gotta do a song that you never heard. So basically, just by using a few cue points and some drum loops and some pads, you create a nice intro. Now, if I was in a bar or a club, I would be looking at that and thinking, I'm definitely going to buy those Novation Dices after seeing that. Um, so the second track is a very similar thing. What, this one's based more around, um, maybe if I wanted to do a mixtape uh, or doing a show, and I'm going to create some beats again. I've got a loop, and I've created a kick snare on that turntable and on this one I've got another track again with just some basic loops and cue points so so I'm gonna show you what we can do with this track
So that's that, that set finished. Um, again, if I hear that in the club, it's quite a funky break. Um, it just shows what you can do with two separate tracks, a few beats, and a bit of an imagination. So I've got one final one to do. This one is for people who are really into remixing their tracks. Um, for example, just load up your samples, your breaks, your vocal cuts, and stuff like that. Um, and on the fly, in the club, you can remix your own track. So I'm just going to show you what I can do. I'm going to use the loop roll mode with this as well. So here we go. Basically, that's your Novation Dices. Um, yeah. apolo apologies for the beginning. I, I stumbled a few uh, of my, my lines, but uh, the hands are better than the mouth, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> but that was wicked, Maya. Many oh, thanks geez, for coming man. down. That was really, great, really man. good. Thank so, you so um, much. The Novation Dice, I guess, they've kind of changed the way you DJ, right? Well, for me, basically, yeah. I mean, they're about 70 or 80 pounds, affordable for everybody. It's really, really easy to use. Um, basically, two little remixing tools on it on your turntables and if you have them battle mode or scratch mode like this it's it's so easy because they're right next to the crossfader and ne next to your hands for 80 pounds it's changed and it's, it's super super creative yeah. so i recommend that you go out and get them today well, if definitely you can. <laughs> yeah guys so everybody watching at home you know the animation dice is an amazing bit of kit um you know if you are a digital dj at home and you're looking to spice up your sets you know get a bit more creative um definitely worth a purchase um also as well if you want to kind of go back over what Maya went through, um, you know, if you didn't quite get um, everything that we went through there, you know, the whole session will be archived on the YouTube channel. So head over to youtube.com forward slash point blank online and you can watch the whole thing again. Um, you know, get your paws on, make sure you, you kind of get really inside the, the dices. Um, and yeah, we've just run out of time. Um, you know, if you do post up your questions in the chat room, we will do our best to get to answer everything and get through um, next week. Um, and yeah, we'll be back again.
again, uh, Friday Forum Live next week. And uh, just before that, we do have a masterclass as well. Uh, that will be on Wednesday with Scarlett Etienne. Um, it should be a really good session. Uh, so make sure you lock in um, to the YouTube channel and also keep up to date with Point Blank Plus. Um, and again, as I said a little bit earlier, the full range of online courses start on April 29th. So head over to pointblankonline.net for more info. And uh, that's it from us. So thanks again to Maya. Cheers, Luke. Thanks very much. No problem. Thanks and uh, all you guys watching at home, we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.